today back then. What happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1727, the premiere of Johann Sebastian Bach's St. Matthew Passion occurred today at the St. Thomas Church in Leipzig. In 1770, in what is considered the first international boxing prize fight, Jack Slack of England beats Frenchman Jean Petit in seven rounds. In 1775, the last execution for witchcraft in Germany takes place today. In 1783, hostilities formally cease in the American Revolutionary War, meaning that the English troops are going home. In 1814, the Treaty of Fontainebleau ends the War of the Sixth Coalition against Napoleon Bonaparte and forces him to abdicate unconditionally for the first time. This is when he exiles to Elba. In 1830, tonight Robert Schumann first hears the violinist Paganini play in Frankfurt, Germany. I'm sure it was awesome. In 1831, soon after their rediscovery, the 12th century Lewis chess pieces are exhibited at the Society of Antiquaries of Scotland. In 1848, Emperor Ferdinand I of Austria confirmed the March Laws, which formed the foundation for the modern state of Hungary. In 1853, the steamboat ferry Jenny Lind's boiler explodes and kills 31 passengers in San Francisco Bay, California. In 1865, Abraham Lincoln urges a spirit of generous conciliation during Reconstruction, meaning he told everyone to be nice to each other now that the Civil War was over. In 1876, the Benevolent and Protective Order of Elks is organized. In 1881, Spillman College is founded in Atlanta, Georgia as the Atlanta Baptist Female Seminary for African American Women. In 1890, Ellis Island, New York is designated as an immigration station. In 1895, Anaheim, California completes its new electric lighting system. In 1898, Spain declares war against the United States. In 1899, a year later, Spain cedes Puerto Rico to the United States. That's probably a good indication of how that war went. In 1900, the first modern submarine is purchased by the United States Navy. In 1908, the SMS Blucher, the last armored cruiser to be built by the German Imperial Navy, launches today. In 1908, Jewish settlers establish Tel Aviv. In 1912, the British Parliament introduces a Irish Home Rule Bill, granting Ireland its own bicameral parliament. In 1919, the International Labor Organization is founded. In 1921, the state of Iowa imposes the first U.S. cigarette tax, and it did not take other states long to join in. In 1933, Hermann Goering becomes Premier of Prussia. In 1936, the Detroit Red Wings beat the Toronto Maple Leafs and win their first Stanley Cup championship. In 1941, Nazi occupiers in the Netherlands confiscate Jewish assets while the Jewish weekly newspaper is taken over by the Nazis. In 1945, four soldiers in the 6th Armored Division of the U.S. 3rd Army liberate the Nazi concentration camp Buchenwald. Also in 1945, the German SS burns and shoots 1,100 people at Gardelagen. In 1950, Prince Rainier III becomes ruler of Monaco and finds Grace Kelly not too long after. In 1951, today was when U.S. President Harry S. Truman relieved General Douglas MacArthur of his command of armed forces during the Korean War. Also in 1951, the Stone of Scone, the stone upon which Scottish monarchs were traditionally crowned, is found on the site of the altar of Arbroath Abbey after it was taken by Scottish nationalist students from Westminster Abbey. In 1955, the movie Marty, starring Ernest Borgnine and Betsy Blair, premieres in New York and wins Best Picture in 1956. In 1956, singer Nat King Cole is attacked on the stage of a Birmingham theater in a racial incident. In 1957, the United Kingdom agrees to Singaporean self-rule. Also in 1957, the Ryan X-13 Vertijet becomes the first jet to take off and land vertically. In 1961, the trial of Adolf Eichmann begins. Fortunately for the world, 
this horrible ex-Nazi was hung the next year. Also in 1961, Bob Dylan makes his first appearance at Folk City, Greenwich Village in New York City. In 1965, the Palm Sunday tornado outbreak occurs today. 51 tornadoes hit in six Midwestern states, killing 256 people. In 1966, Emmett Ashford becomes the first African-American Major League Baseball umpire. Also in 1966, Frank Sinatra records Strangers in the Night, which later reaches number one on the Billboard charts. In 1968, President Lyndon B. Johnson signs the Civil Rights Act of 1968, prohibiting discrimination in the sale, rental, and financing of housing. In 1970, Apollo 13 was launched from Cape Kennedy, Florida. The mission was aborted after an oxygen tank exploded en route to the moon. Also in 1970, the Beatles song Let It Be hits number one and stays for only two weeks. In 1972, the first episode of long-running British radio show, I'm Sorry I Haven't a Clue, is aired. In 1975, Hank Aaron returns to County Stadium as a Milwaukee player after his off-season trade from the Atlanta Braves. In 1976, the Apple One computer is created. In 1977, Waylon Jennings releases his song Luke and Bach, Texas, Back to the Basics of Love and it becomes the Billboard Song of the Year. In 1979, Ugandan dictator Idi Amin is finally overthrown after eight years. In 1980, Paul McCartney releases his single, Coming Up. In 1981, a massive riot in Brixton, South London, results in almost 300 police injuries and 65 serious civilian injuries. In 1983, at the third Golden Raspberry Awards, Inchon, wins. Also in 1983, at the 55th Academy Awards, Gandhi, Ben Kingsley, and Meryl Streep win. In 1986, today Dodge Morgan finishes sailing solo non-stop around the world in 150 days. In 1987, British singer-songwriter Joss Stone is born. Also in 1987, the New York Yankees score 12 runs in the seventh inning against the Kansas City Royals. I remember that game. In 1988, at the 60th Academy Awards, The Last Emperor, Michael Douglas, and Cher win. In 1990, customs officials in Great Britain say they have seized what they believe to be the barrel of a massive gun on a ship bound for Iraq. In 1991, the musical Miss Saigon opens at the Broadway Theater in New York City. In 1993, 450 prisoners rioted at the Southern Ohio Correctional Facility and continued for 10 days, citing grievances related to prison conditions as well as the forced vaccination of Muslim prisoners against their religious beliefs. In 1996, the revival of Rodgers and Hammerstein's musical The King and I, starring Lou Diamond Phillips and Donna Murphy, premieres at the Neil Simon Theater in New York City and runs for 781 performances. In 2000, AT&T Park in San Francisco, Minute Maid Park in Houston, and Comerica Park in Detroit all open today. In 2002, over 200,000 people marched in Caracas, Venezuela to demand the resignation of President Hugo Chavez. And it worked. Also in 2002, the Griba Synagogue bombing by Al-Qaeda kills 21 people in Tunisia. In 2005, at the 39th CMT Music Awards, Keith Urban, Gretchen Wilson, and Kenny Chesney win. In 2006, Mafia boss Bernardo Provenzano is arrested in Corleone, Sicily after 40 years on the run. A Cosa Nostra boss from Corleone. That sounds really familiar. In 2007, influential American author Kurt Vonnegut passes away at age 84. Also in 2007, Two bombings in the Algerian city of Algiers kills 33 people and wounds a further 222 others. In 2010, Japanese porn actress Sora Aoi joins Twitter, prompting many Chinese fans to try to circumnavigate Chinese censorship. Whatever inspiration you need, I guess. In 2012, billionaire Warren Buffett is diagnosed with prostate cancer. 
Also in 2012, the Avengers movie premieres in Los Angeles. In 2013, Maria Talchief, whose exquisite technique made her one of the greatest ballerinas in history, dies at age 88. Also in 2013, two women are beheaded for sorcery in Bougainville, Papua New Guinea. I had to read that one a few times when I first found it. In 2016, an updated Tree of Life is published in Nature Microbiology by scientists from Berkeley University in California. You should Google it, it's really interesting. In 2019, WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange is forcibly removed from the Ecuadorian Embassy in London and arrested on failure to appear in U.S. court. Also in 2019, ex-Pope Benedict XVI claims that Catholic sexual abuse was caused in part by the 1960s sexual revolution. In 2020, Farm Aid at Home, which was held virtually, included performers Willie Nelson, John Mellencamp, Neil Young, Dave Matthews, the Black Pumas, Bonnie Raitt, Boz Skaggs, and Edie Raquel. And lastly, in 2021, 20-year-old Dante Wright is shot and killed during a traffic stop by a police officer in Brooklyn Center, Minnesota, who said he mistook his gun for a taser. Hey, thanks for watching and or listening to my episode today. I hope you subscribe and leave me some love down in the comments. I would appreciate it. Talk to you tomorrow.